everybody, it's me, Goth Girl Punk. Um, yes, you can see. I am trying to show you. We got a boo and a me, a boobie, and a phone that's going off. What the hell? Don't mind me. Love it when you get interrupted, right? So, anyway, I've been trying to find a job. This is a video blog, bloggy blog, blog, blog. And I know there's not a lot of, um, like going on. The camera might be acting up. Um, my allergies are acting up as well, and it's just blah, 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 and, um, Trying to get a job in Jersey is really hard, it seems like, especially if you have an IT. And if you don't know what an IEP is, it's Individualized Education Program. And... It just means that you, as a person, learn different, different. Like, when I went to school, like, for me, I need an IEP because I'm dyslexic. Which I read basically backwards when I read. And I type and everything phonetically, so, like, when I was a kid, I said cat, C-A-T, I spelled K-A-T. So, like, stuff like that. But it's like, with being dyslexic and how the, um, applications are nowadays on, um, online like basically it's like hard and they're timed it's like so how are you supposed to get a job if you're dyslexic on a time application which is a bunch of like over a hundred questions and you're reading You know, it, it, no, no, it just doesn't work that way, you know, it doesn't work. I, um, it just sucks because it's like, I'm a good worker, I, I've worked for Six Flags, I clean hotel rooms. I went to Penco Tech for auto body. And it's like, I know how to do all these things. It's just that people won't hire me because of the applications. What is fuck? What is wrong with you know, just regular, here's my name, here's my phone number, call me. You know, can they, do they, like, I'm at the point where I'm thinking, you're going to have to put
put your blood type in for applications. And it's just, it's so frustrating. Like, I'm also a toy collector. I love Lush. I love doing makeup. I love doing my nails. Like, but seriously, like, how are you supposed to get a job nowadays if people won't actually get to know you? Like, it's like, at the application, it's like, eat, stop, because you didn't do it uh, fast enough. Like, should you have to sit and take the SATs for a job? It's like, should you have to uh, sign your name in blood for a job? It's kind of like getting to a point that job applications are freaking ridiculously long. It's like, if you get past it, who cares? You should just, like, get the job. Like, I've seriously went on a job interview, walked there, in the pouring rain, and still got turned down. I wanted to be like, well, if you knew you were going to turn me down anyway, why did you ask me for an interview? You know? And it's getting to a point where I'm like, seriously? Is it me or... Or is it just like, you know, people just don't want to get to really have a good person on their team? Because, like, I've been told, like, within this year from a few places, I'm hired. Like... Where I live, um, this place called the Green Cow, and yes, I am, and yes, I do have proof, because my boyfriend was sitting in on the interview on that one, and he, she even said in front of my boyfriend, I was hired, and then I call, what's my schedule? No call back. Like, how do you tell somebody you're hired and not call back? Like, seriously? And people, like, automatically think, girl went to jail. Like, the, I went to jail. For one reason, child support didn't pay because I'm trying to find a job. You know what I mean? You can't pay something if you have no money. And the government in New Jersey is so effed up that they're trying to make me pay for a kid. I don't even have. The, f you know, but that's not a crime. That's not like I stole money. It's, it's you know, and like hearing what's going on nowadays, they're like, oh, we should take people that. Um, don't I can't pay child support. Driver's license away. I had that happen too. So now I'm having an even harder time trying to get a job because I can't drive myself because I can't pay the hundred dollar restoration fee. To get a new one, and 
it's like, like, and I lost my old one, so it's like, I stuck in that, what the hell mode, and every time I get hired, nobody answers back, nobody is professional anymore, it seems like. And then it's like, it just, I think for everybody's sake, if you really want to look at it this way, don't go to New Jersey because New Jersey will screw you up the bum hole. And it's just, ugh. And, like, I've opened toys for you. Like, my boyfriend got me toys to open up on my channel. And it is relaxing. I got a hamster named her Boo, but it's just like, really, I'm 27, I'm not getting younger, I am an adult, I know how to take care of myself, but it's just nice to, if I could have a chance at a job, you know what I mean? I deserve it, finally. What, everything I've gone through, I deserve a shot. So if anybody is going to see this, please, if there's some way you can help me, I would love that. Love you guys so much. Thank you for following me. Um, if you like this, like me, talk about personal and real things, follow me, hit the button like, I, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been there for me in the last few years, who's Hold my hand by my side. Who seen me struggle with the state? Grr, the state. And just love me for who I am. Thank you, everybody. I right. follow me on Twitter, or Facebook. Um, Tumblr, Pinterest, um, as Goth Girl Punk, spelled G O T H G I R L P U N K. I promise, I promise, promise, promise. If you hit me up, I will talk back. If you send me something, I will write back. I really appreciate everybody out there. Love you all. Bye.